Before we get into the video, I wanted to quickly let you know that this Earth Day, we're teaming up with our friends over at UDISC, along with the support from Flight Towel and Whale Sacks, to bring you the first ever International Course Cleanup Weekend. It's a super simple idea with a massive impact. Basically, all you have to do is this Earth Day or the day after, April 22nd or 23rd, head out to the course and pick up some trash. If you want to be even more involved, you can head over to udis.com slash events and filter by cleanups to find a course cleanup happening near you. And if one doesn't exist yet, you can create and host your own. So consider joining us to clean up our courses this Earth Day. Hi, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and today I'm gonna to test out four innovative disc golf accessories, and I thought I'd bring you along for the journey. All starting with the Disc Doctor. So the Disc Doctor was created to help you smooth out rough surfaces on your disc. So say you hit a tree, or it runs into a rock, or something like that, you can actually use different areas on the Disc Doctor to help smooth out the surface. But before showing you how it works, I just wanna say this is a really cool tool because actually, maybe two years ago, I was sent the original prototype, which is a 3D printed version. Actually, initially it was designed to hold a lighter, and I thought it was super cool then, but seeing it now, it's just so rad to see the, the innovation over time and the variation from prototype to final product. Additionally, it's super cool because when you get the Disc Doctor, they send you not only some directions, but some sheets of sandpaper, as well as some nail clippers, just in case your disc gets really chewed up. And I'm not sure, I think there's maybe a PDJ rule about not altering your disc, but for the majority of people who don't play in a PDJ sanctioned event, or it doesn't run into those rules, you're fine. So I've got this West Side King that I probably threw into a rock or something at one point, and I wanna show you how it works. So the tool comes with these directions, which show you exactly where to use different parts of the tool for different parts of each disc. So it looks like, as far as the tool's concerned, we're looking at this edge here, as well as maybe this bottom corner, no, this bottom corner for drivers. So let's run this over here a few times. Ooh, I, no way. Dude, it actually, okay, let's do this now. Cause that's the other area. Man, I, I, I can tell because this plastic is so durable that I'm not, I'm definitely not gonna affect the flight but that really seems to work well. And I have another area where it's bit up and this feels so much worse than this does now. So the fact that this little tool can make your disc last longer, I think is incredible. And I actually waited to test this newer version as compared to the original prototype for this video. So that was a true reaction right now. I'd say it's, it's mostly there, but even if you wanted a little sandpaper to really smooth it out, I mean, this feels brand new. So. Overall, to the disc doctor, I'd say this probably isn't gonna leave my bag. So for those who didn't know, our current warehouse space is in a co-working warehouse space. It's kind of like a WeWork for warehouses. So we're super intentional about the noise that we make. Needless to say, I'm pretty excited about the next accessory. This is the Good Dog Disc Golf Chain Silencer. Back in the day, a lot of us used to wrap towels around the basket to make it quieter, but now there's an actual product for that, which I think is super interesting. I haven't tested it out, so for reference, that's the noise we're hearing now, and now I'll try to put it on, and we'll see what happens. I have no idea how to get this on. I think I'm gonna go like that. It's a little tight, but they anticipated this. Oh, it would almost be nice if I had a second set of hands rather than a cameraman, but you know, here we are. Ooh, it's tight. This is, this is definitely a bigger basket. I would say my MVP black hole light at home would probably enjoy this a little more, but I think this is still gonna work. Seems like they planned for it, so let's see. Good dog did plan for this, they knew. All right, well, for reference, we'll do a dramatic replay of me previously making noise. And then now, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Let's throw some putts. Wow. 
<laughs> Honestly, I am shocked. I've done the towel in the past, like I said before. This is nothing like the towel. It is super quiet, surprisingly quiet. Our neighbors are gonna be super happy in here. Maybe your neighbors in your backyard are gonna be happy, or just having something like this in your garage is gonna be nice for the echo or whatever. Good dog. Well done on the silencing on that one. So this next accessory might just be one of the strangest ones I've ever seen, but I'm not about to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> so this is the Max Distance Retriever. It's a new retriever that utilizes this like suction cuppy orb on the top of it. And we're out here to simulate how it works. I actually haven't tested this yet, but I'm super interested because for some reason, I don't feel like it would work super well. Yet at the same time, I feel like it could work incredibly well. I know that's a complete oxymoron, but we'll see what happens. Also, I just have to shout out Dan from Disc Golfology. He's the one who told me about this. So thanks, Dan. He swears by it. I'm interested to see what happens. Let's see how it works. Oof. All right. Getting it out there all the way. It does feel like carbon fiber or something, so I'm kind of interested in that. It might be, I don't know how that would perform compared to aluminum or whatnot, but wow. Oh, it immediately stuck to it. Okay, so technically I could just drag it to me, but I want to see if I can lift it to see if it would lift almost out of the water or something like that. So I'm just going to try to give it a lift. No way. Honestly, this is crazy. I, I wouldn't have guessed. I am shocked. If it, if it works here, I mean, it's gotta work underwater too, but I'm being delicate, but it feels like it's glued to it. Wow. No wonder Dan was swearing by this thing. Yeah, it totally was just glued to it. It just like suctioned right off. Dang, so I'd be curious to see how it worked with other plastics. Maybe certain plastics it works well with, certain plastics it doesn't. But overall, the amount of suction this had was kind of shocking to me. All right, so come over here so we can talk about this. So overall, I can see why Dan was raving about this. I mean, I would have never even thought about this. And I love the innovation that they brought to the table with this spherical suction cuppy thing at the top it you know one of the things as far as retrievers are concerned that you're probably used to is that they constantly spin this one just doesn't have that issue because it's made for that so really impressive the only honestly the only thing i could say that's negative about it is this butt cap that's 3d printed just popped off on me which let some of the telescoping parts fall out the back as far as i'm concerned a little epoxy back at the shop won't create any issues in the future so that's not really that big of a deal they also have these two clasps that make it hold shut, which I think is really brilliant, but also attaching to a bag, whether or not you have a clip for retrievers or a slot for retrievers makes that super nice as well. So overall, I am incredibly impressed at the Max Distance Retriever. So you might have recently seen some hype for a new accessory on the market, the Mojo Riser. This is a kickstand for your bag, and I've been super interested to test one of these out. And this is the prototype, so I can't show you all of it because there's a patent pending. But first, I need to attach it to the bag, which apparently you do with these clips, and then we'll talk about how it works. All right, so I just watched this reel about how to attach it to your bag, so I'm gonna try to do that now. Looks pretty simple. The only thing is I don't have a screwdriver on me. Instead, I've got this guy. Um, I wouldn't recommend this, but since I don't have one on me, I'm gonna use it and I'm just gonna choke it down so I'm very careful not to strip out the screws. We'll see how it goes. I think you just wanna start to, so these, I'm gonna wanna go right here. That's easy, kinda no brainer. On the back, oh yeah, the back looks like pretty straightforward too. So I know some people probably, especially if they spent a lot on their bags, might have a problem with punching a hole in the bag. To me, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. And for what you gain from this kickstand in terms of like durability for your bag and whatnot, I don't know, it, it seems like a pretty fair trade off to me. What's really cool is with this prototype, everything's 3D printed. So to me, this is just like going back to even the disc doctor, how rad is it that like we can now prototype actual products with so much more ease and it's like actually scalable. So I see, I feel like inventions are just gonna keep getting crazier and crazier. So yeah, I think this is super cool. Let's see if we can get this guy on. Slip that in. So honestly, it's not that hard. That was pretty easy. 
and all right, let's just keep it going. Montage. <laughs> Honestly, not that bad. If you can set up an Ikea dresser, which I know is a high task for some, you can do this no problem. The directions they have are, are simple, it's pretty straightforward, and it's custom, customizable too, so if you'd rather go on the side with the strap or something like that, it's that's not bad. I'm interested to see how it feels and whatnot, but one of the cool things about this is that they've made it so that I believe they're gonna send out or make it possible to buy more than just one set of clasps. So if you have multiple bags, then you can just get one of the risers and then multiple bags can have the clips on them and then you can interchange as you go, which I think is brilliant. I mean, creating a product working around what seem to be 50 different types of bags on the market, I'd say it's very well done, but see how it feels. So. They've got this little pad on the back, which is great. Honestly, outside of the fact that I can feel it's lower on my back than this bag typically is, I can't, I couldn't even tell you it was there. Couldn't even tell you. And then simple little, <laughs> this is inside though, we should test it outside. So it just snowed in Denver last night and of course classic Denver weather, it's basically all gone, but there's this patch here. So we're gonna show you with this tiny little patch of snow. Basically, if you have the bag and you have the riser, you just stand it out, done. Bag's not wet, not dirty, discs aren't dirty. Honestly, this is super impressive. So one of the features that's super cool about this is this little locking mechanism. So as far as what I just did, to lift the bag up, the kickstand's gonna stay out. However, if I just press this little unlock, the legs will kick up. Now, what I can do is I can actually click this lock in place. And so when I pull, it won't lock, but it'll sit down. And you'll see here, now when I do that locking mechanism, I can just pick it up and it's good to go. So as far as the Mojo riser, I mean, it's definitely a prototype. It's all 3D printed and whatnot, but I believe they're bringing it to like a full production. So it should be obviously all very strong and whatnot, but just as far as it, the feel, the use case, and then bringing it down one last time with ease. So those are four products clearly made by four disc golfers who just wanna see our sport get better. You've got the Disc Doctor, the Good Dog Chain Silencer, the Max Distance Retriever, and the Mojo Riser. And to me, while there's little things here or there, overall, they're incredibly impressive. And just to be clear, we're not being paid in any way to promote these products whatsoever. We're just focused on the future of disc golf every single day, and it's super exciting to see other companies who are focused on the same thing. So I've linked everything down in the description and if you have thoughts on these products or even another one that I should check out, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to support the channel and we'll see you next time. Water. <laughs>